This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. In this edition of ID That Tree, we're going to introduce you to one of our two native buckeyes. And this is the less common one, and that is yellow buckeye. Ohio buckeye, our other species, is much more common across the state, where yellow buckeye, you're only going to encounter as a native species in southeastern Indiana on high quality sites. Both of our buckeyes have compound leaves that are pinnately compound, meaning that the leaflets all originate from one spot on the, the stem of the leaf, much like fingers on a hand. And typically we have five leaflets, but in some cases we can have six or seven rarely. The underside of these large leaflets tends to be a much lighter color, but not hairy or fuzzy. The leaflets are held directly opposite each other on the twigs. So we have opposite leaf arrangement. We also have a very large tan terminal bud with large prominent scales. And this is characteristic of both of our buckeyes. Yellow buckeye gets its name from the really attractive yellow flower clusters that come out in the spring, a little more showy than the Ohio buckeye. Yellow buckeye produces the buckeye seeds in a uh, husk, and the husk on yellow buckeye is very smooth, while the husks on Ohio buckeye have warts and even spines. The twigs of yellow buckeye, when they're scratched, don't have any distinctive odor, whereas Ohio buckeye has somewhat of a disagreeable skunky odor to the twigs and bark. So yellow buckeye, typically only found native in southeast Indiana, but easily planted in other locations, much more common in the southern Appalachians, and ultimately on good sites can get to be quite a large tree.